active loading only. Please do not leave your vehicle unattended. Non-compliant will result in parking citations.
Exalted personality as, as his divine grace for the Bhakti Vedanta Narayan Maharaj to come. And I, I know that he'll bring so much um, love and affection that everyone's hearts will melt to hear him speak. And we're so fortunate that he'll be here through this entire week through, through Thursday. And also, I, I would really like to thank Kedar Prabhu and Sarva Goma Prabhu and Mangala's family, Gorsander. Chiranji Prabhu, so many devotees have worked so hard, uh, Gopal Prabhu, and, and anyone I'm not mentioning, to help make this possible, and it's just beginning. I'm sure it will increase uh, so much. We've had so much for great fortune. Srila Gurudev was with us for eight days in New Braj, Badger, California, and there he was saying that this is the culmination of the tour. This will be the most sweet. But then I heard him speaking with Chiranji Prabhu at the airport, and he was saying, oh, this is the end of my trip now, and it will be most sweet here. <laughs> Thank you very much. Hare Krishna. Hare On behalf of the devotees here in Maui, we would like to welcome you to our beautiful island. We're very blessed to have you here. We're blessed to have all of the assembled devotees here to come here. And we pray that we may render some service to Sri Guru and Sri Guranga, Sri Radhika and Sri Krishna. By the grace of Sri Guru, Sri Guru has come to us today to the island of Maui. Maui, as you well know, and some of you don't know, is the heart of Hawaii. This is the island of Bhakti. And so we say here, Maui no ko oi, which means Maui is the best. And we say, Aloha Nui Loa. Aloha from Hawaii is we honor that the Lord sits within your heart. And Guru Maharaj, thank you. Thank you for, for coming. Right. thing. If it wasn't for all the devotees here who spontaneously came together to
to create this temple environment, to create the Vyasasana, to create the temple room, to cook the prasadam. If it wasn't for all of these devotees, Chiranjeev, Sevanandi, Sarvabhuma, uh, Gopal, many of the devotees who I haven't mentioned, please forgive me, I'm, I'm nervous. Uh, all the devotees, thank you very much for making this possible. Hare Krishna. Thank you all for coming. I'm very thankful to Kedar Prabhu for uh, arranging and doing what I could not do. <laughs> but Shri Guru Dev, Shri Bhaktivedanta Narayan Maharaj said, told me in Badger last year, I will come to your home, your home. And I didn't know how it would be possible, but a miracle has happened and you have come. Uh, I want you all to know that sometimes some devotees think that we have to make some change in Krishna consciousness in order to make it more palatable for uh, a common person to hear. But I will tell you here today that it is not the case that Srila Gurudev will give you pure Krishna conscious and such sweet Harikata that uh, you will be crying tears and your heart will melt. And so, so I thank you for the bottom of my heart for coming here. And we, uh, one thing that we want to express is that the place where Harikata is spoken by the pure Rasik Vaishnav, all the devotees assembled, and the place itself, all directions, is worshipable. And we give honor to this place because here uh, we have an opportunity to hear such nice Harikata and uh, be guided by His Divine Grace. Thank you. Sarvabhuma Prabhu. I just feel driving towards the sunshine here that uh, we've got a really bright future ahead of us. And, uh, I'm just so honored that uh, you came to nectarize us. <laughs> A lot of nectarians live here, <laughs> hungry for the nectar. <laughs> Thank you so much. Just as it is described, a specific condition of material existence. So here we are sitting on an island in the middle of vast oceans. In the middle of vast oceans. From our perspective here on the rocky shore, the sea is virtually an unlimited, endless experience. So the Shastra describes the position of the jiva, the individual soul in this world, as if he were floating in that ocean and his chance to attain the human form of life is given in an analogy of the tortoise or the turtle who is swimming in that ocean. There is one log of wood floating in the ocean and then one, there is one knot hole in that piece of wood. And every 100 years that tortoise will surface uh, inadvertently anywhere in that ocean. And the chance for his head to emerge through that hole in the knot of wood is the similar odds, the similar chance that the jiva has to attain human form of life. Such an absolutely rare experience is given by Sri Krishna Bhagavan in the form of this material manifestation which is created by God only to benefit the jiva souls and also for the purpose of the Lord's divine pleasure. So in that human form of life and such a rare opportunity 
it's also extremely rare, very, very rare, to meet a pure representative of the divine, sweet Lord, Bhagavan Sri Krishna. Srila Gurudev, I'm absolutely convinced, is the topmost Vaishnava, the topmost leader of our Sampradaya. The representative of Sri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has come only to deliver all jivas, all souls, who are suffering under most, such terrible misconceptions in this life. We humbly beg all souls here on this island and all persons present to take full advantage of His unlimited mercy, to offer their full, unlimited prostrated obeisances at His divine lotus feet, and beg also for His kind attention and mercy in, his, in the form of His Upadesha's instruction. And we also offer a sincere eternal gratitude to Him and beg always for His kindness. Thank you very much for allowing me to speak to everybody. Shiva Gurudev, Hare Krishna. Om Ajnana Timurandasya Gyanam Gyanam Sadakya Chakshuru Militam Yena Tasmai Sri Guru Venamaha Vancha Kaupata Rupya Shakti Pasana Vyeva Cha Patitanam Pavanetyo Vaishna Vetyo Namaha Maha Sri Guru Dev has requested me how we started our journey and how we came here. I'd like to explain how in 1965, Srila S.V. Bhakti Swami Maharaj came to Western countries and many of us were completely unfamiliar with Bhakti, what to speak of pure Bhakti. We had some idea what religion is, we have heard about yoga, but only when Krishna's pure devotee came to Western countries, we all became so enthusiastic to be, live with the devotees and practice bhakti yoga. Now, how did that happen? Maybe some of you are familiar, but before Srila Prabhupada, as we all know him, came to Western countries, he was in the association of his godbrothers and his all family members in Gaudiya Math. He spent a considerable amount of time in Kesefiji Gaudiyamat in Mathura and especially on the request and inspiration of Srila Narayan Maharaj and his Gurudev, the godbrother of Srila Prabhupada, Srila Bhakti Prakyan Keshava Maharaj. Srila Prabhupada was inspired to take up the order of sannyas and come to the western countries, start actively preaching. At that time, um, we may have read in some book, I have read at least in one book, that Srila Prabhupada was somewhere in India, Jansi, and he wanted to train up some Indian brahmacharis <coughs> to take with him to the West, and in this way make a very good impression upon the Western public. But due to some reason or another, the brahmacharis were not interested the, the Indian devotees to join him so he ended up coming just by himself all alone on the steamboat to America suffering tremendous hardships and by the mercy of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Sisi Radha Krishna he was able to implant the seed of bhakti in the hearts of so many devotees and all became enthusiastic and happy in Krishna consciousness so many books were printed, translated, very valuable instructions were there in those books and the devotees were very eager to take up the process. Then, however, Srila Prabhupada left us. He went back to the spiritual world to join his Gurudev and his worshipable master. And after that, it was very hard for the devotees to continue their spiritual practices due to lack of advanced association. Now, 
three years ago, Srila Narayan Maharaj has started to, on the invitation of Srila Swami Maharaj, he has come to the Western countries and started to again introduce pure Krishna consciousness. Srila Swami Maharaj, as I, um, Srila Prabhupada, we may also call him Srila Swami Maharaj, but most familiar is Srila Prabhupada. He came to the West and he invited Srila Gurudev to please join him, help him to preach Krishna consciousness. At that time, Srila Gurudev was not able to come due to so many services which he had to uh, engage in on behalf of his spiritual master. But now, in 1996, he had the opportunity to come to the Western countries and he did not come alone. He came with some Indian brahmacharis. Yeah? Prabhupada wanted to come with the Indian brahmacharis, but he came alone. So Srila Gurudev came with some Indian brahmacharis who are with us here today and it was a very successful preaching tour in 1996. We started in Europe, America, visiting all the places where Srila Prabhupada had started Krishna Consciousness, New York, Tomkins Square Park, Los Angeles, London, all the places where Prabhupada was so successful, we visited them in order to take the dust, the holy dust of Srila Prabhupada's feet and in order to assist him in his mission to help the Western countries to adopt, to embrace pure bhakti, especially the followers of Srila Prabhupada. Now, 1996, after that tour, Srila Gurudev said, maybe I should not travel anymore. <laughs> I have done enough, I have given them inspiration. I rather stay in Vrindavan and practice my bhajan and preach and help the devotees who are sincerely interested in bhajan. But after some time the devotees in western countries became again eager. Invita inv invitations came, please come back again, we will manage everything, we will arrange everything. So Gurudev, being so kind and also always expressing his desire that he will assist, he will carry out the instructions of Srila Prabhupada. Srila Prabhupada had requested him at the last days of his presence in this world that please help my followers. Yeah. They need so much help. I know that you can help them. Please help them. So Srila Gurudev expresses again and again that he will carry out his instruction as long as he will be able to do that in this physical world. So we are very fortunate that Srila Gurudev is continuing to travel. Yeah, this is the third time we are traveling all over the world and new and new places we are visiting. Just now we came from Honolulu and the devotees there were very, very inspired. Although there were few devotees, but they were so inspired. Brindavan was there, some very senior devotees, Gaur Govinda Prabhu, Vrindavan Prabhu, some ladies who were very inspired. Actually, they said that there is a management team of the ISKCON temple there, and all the management team had come to see Srila Gurudev yesterday, except for one. And they all were very inspired yeah, by the association of Srila Gurudev. Before, just before that, we came from California, from <coughs> we visited San Francisco, Los Angeles, <coughs> Badger, New Braja, and in New Braja, it was the top most place of uh, associating with the devotees. It was like a real family atmosphere and such nice harikata and such warm, affectionate dealings amongst the devotees. Srila Gurudev was speaking there from Manashika and also from Tenth Canto, yeah. Before we arrived in Badger, Srila Gurudev had been preparing us with so many good instructions on Bhakti Tattva Vivek, also on all the different cantos in Srimad Bhagavatam. So in Badger certainly we had such a nice experience being with all the devotees. Also along our tour, this time in Europe, in America, 
Washington, we have met such nice devotees, especially in Los Angeles, we met many devotees who had been in Gurukul for their whole life almost, and they were so eager to meet with Gurudev and to such an extent that they, some of them had taken initiation even from Gurudev and they become inspired to help and organize the preaching as Srila Prabhupada wanted it. Yeah. So this is what we all hope will happen. Srila Gurudev is not interested to take over ISKCON or to be the Acharya. He only wants to help the devotees to become inspired in pure bhakti. When we were in England, 300 devotees were there, all so enthusiastic, in France, everywhere where we went. And that's why we all come here, you see, from California, England, Australia, India, Birmingham, <laughs> Fiji, <laughs> the Vendernet <Vendernath>, Holland. <laughs> Some have flown in from England just to be here today, to be with Gurudev. And I can tell you that this welcome which we had today is very, very wonderful. So many happy faces. I can see that you're all very happy here in Maui. <laughs> and I am convinced that you will be so much more happy after these three, four days that we will be here. And I request you please be with us for these three, four days, hear Harikata and become happy forever in our Sangha under the guidance and wonderful shelter of Srila Gurudev who is the perfect representative of our Rupa Nuga Guru Parampara. Thank you very much. Vancha Kalpatrubhyusya Kripa Sindhu Vyevichya Patita Nam Pavanekyo Vaishnavekyo Chapsurunumilitangina Gurave Gaura Chandra Yaradika Yaitadale Krishna Ya Krishna Bhakta Ya Tada Bhakta Ya Namo First of all, I want to offer my legs and legs dandavas in the Lord's feet of my spiritual master. Nitya Lila Pravishtong Vishnu Parshishman Bhakti Pragyan Kesho Goswami And also in the lotus feet of my Shiksha Guru Nitya Lila Pravishtong Vishnu Parshishman Bhakti Vedan Swami Maharaj I am very <coughs> uh, happy to come to this land. Mm -hmm. I have heard about Wali uh, in Ramayana, the father of Mandodari. You know Mandodari? Yeah. The wife of Raman. Very beautiful, very gentle, very high class of devotee. His father was Mali. And Mali used to live here. Perhaps by the, his name he it became Mavi. <laughs> little some very little change. When I came here to this island, I remembered Navadvip, Ganges flowing here. And so many trees like Navadvip. Only lacking of Kapkos. <laughs> They are always everywhere cuckoos. But I see so many cuckoos, not like a bird but like devotees. Oh, so many cuckoo birds. 
beautiful corpus. They can speak more sweet than that black corpus. So, <coughs> I am so much happy. I am proud, very much proud that Bhakti Vedanta Swami Maharaj has engaged me in his service. I am the first person to inspire him for sannyas, renounce order. Then I requested my, my Gurudev also that you should request him to take sannyas. He is so qualified person. At that time he was a penniless person. Very penniless person. Nothing. His children and wife have kept him. Or no use of being, you should go away anywhere. So he came at that time to me. I sat so much. And he took sannyas there in Orkesh of the Gauriyaman. I made sacrifice, fire sacrifices and everything, danda, door coffin, cloths. I gave him tilak and twelve parts of body. And also Kirtan was going on and he took initiation on the very day of Vishwaru Khaur. You know Vishwaru? So, that thing and he took sannyas. And after that, he wanted to come to <coughs> Western countries. He was so expert in English. His holy master had ordered him, and that is why he came anyhow, how, struggling in so much problems, only problems and problems. He was about to die in Navigation India of Sindhya. But anyhow, he was saved and he began preach, preaching in, uh, where in America, Boston, no, New York, in hippies. And they become happy. So much all hippies. They change their all habits, bad habits. And they helped so much that very quickly in whole world he preached, wrote so many translations of Gita, Bhagavatam and all other authentic books, Chaitanya, Chaitanya. Hmm? He wrote so many hundreds of books and very soon preaching center were established in whole world very quickly. He used to play in boys, little children. So, being children and in learned person, like top of learned. So, uh, we have relation since 1946. He met me first, 1946. No birth of his own. No any is gone like this, nothing from them. And I, I was lucky to serve him. In his last days, when he was going to, to his master, holy master forever, and he called me and began to weep, taking my hands in his hands, he requested that I request you to forgive me if any offense I have done to you and for God by this. I told him, request him, oh, you have done nothing wrong. In whole world we have preached Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's mission here and there. And you have done marvelous that anyone has not done in previous time. So, we are proud of you. 
Then he requested me that, now I am going to depart from this world. I want that you should help my devotees to whom we are, I have brought from various countries. I want that you should help. At that time, I told to all his devotees, like Tamal Krishna Brahmananda at that time, Bhagavan Das, Hansadut, um, Jai Pataka, uh, from Australia, Bhava Ananda, and so many. Samiji told that, oh, come on and let hear so Narayan Maharaj. I told that you should not think that your Gurudev is going to die. He will never die. So, I want that after him, you should try to propagate his mission all over the world with being so much energetic. You should not think that way. And carry out his mission. Don't quarrel among yourself. After any great Acharya, his disciples used to quarrel and fight each other. Only for name, fame, omen, and uh, luster, and money, money, especially money. <laughs> yes or not? Why? For the service of Swamiji, he has left so many countries to preach. You can preach his mission all over and carry out all this. Don't quarrel among you. Be liberal, very honest. Try to be like Trina Dapi Suni Taru Rapi Sahishnu Amani Na And then he told to me, requested. My last request is that with your own hand you should give me my Samadhi. Perhaps you know Samadhi? Samadhi means? Like burial, but not that. Samadhi is so. I told that I will carry your follower all others. He also told that you should make my last. Uh, uh, yeah. Separation festival. Separation festival. And I did all. He ordered me to come to Western countries. As his holy master ordered him to come to Western country and to pray. And he came after how many years? Forty-five years. And I came here by his order, to carry his order, only how many? Twenty. Only twenty years. <laughs> so I am not so much late. <laughs> so we think that we are all Gaur family. In one line, Swamiji had not established a new thing. Same thing as Rupa Goswami has come to propagate the mission of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. I know him very well, more than anyone, any devotee I more than. Because I have served so much. And he has written, written me letter that I have uh, my Gurudev, Bhakti Siddhan Saraswati Goswami Thakur. He used to love and affection. So I am same, my relation with you, same, transcendental relation is between you and me. I know that our relation is so strong, anyone cannot disturb. So only I have come to the islands and countries where he went to propagate the mission of his Gurudev and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. I came only to touch the lotus dust of his lotus feet. 
I know that. I am so ethnicificant. What? <laughs> no? I have no qualities at all. My English is also lame and blind. <laughs> I cannot express my partly views. I can express in Hindi and Bengali, but I am not expert in English. So you can excuse me for this. But try to take my words, what I want to tell you. So, I am so much happy. And from tomorrow, our classes will be started. And then I will speak something. I have come only to help you, to encourage you, to inspire you. I am not come for money. Don't think that I have come. Oh, in Vrindavan, Chapati is there. When I will go to any door, I will tell Radhe, Radhe, Radhe. <laughs> and they will give me. I will tell that, oh, I want only half, not full. And to another door, to another door. And one or two Chapati will go. Enough for. So I have come only to serve our Guru Parampara and to carry out the order of my Shiksha Guru and my Guru, Shiksha Guru. So, uh, I can help you that your, you should not be weak. Don't think that Swamiji has gone. Try to be so liberal, to help each other. We are like one family. So, today I want to take rest and for tomorrow you should arrange my Prabhu, what? The Dharma and all you uh, should arrange for my classes, Kirtan, and we will do the Go Raman! Classes will begin tomorrow at, at 10 a.m. and also at 5.30 p.m. in the evening. Six o'clock in the evening. <coughs> yes. Half an hour before, Kirtan will begin at 9.30 and at 5.30. Class will be in the hall there. Class will be out here. What about that hall? This is in for the morning. This is temple room for Mongol Arti and Kirtan in the early morning. What time is Mongol Arti? Six o'clock. Six o'clock in the morning. You should arrange for Mongol Arti and all things like our special gear, mud, gold, and mud are in the middle. Mahamantra. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna.
of years or lakhs of years he cannot he cannot uh, explain so much so in five days we cannot do so much but anyhow we will try to give something In Srimad Bhagavatam, there is a smoke. Sukhda Goswami told to, told to, Srila Parikshit Maharaj, when Parikshit Maharaj was going to die. At that time, he asked especially two questions, that if a man is dying just now, in a moment, then what he should do? And if a man is going to die in a year, two years, four years, ten, ten years, hundred years, thousand years, but he must die. So what they should do? Then Sukadeva Goswami told that if anyone is going to die, at once, quickly, very quickly, then he should utter the name of Krishna, Supreme Parshma Sri At once. But if, in, in, in case, if he cannot utter Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare now, then a tulsi leaf with water, more better if Ganges water, not no harm. But if there is no tulsi water and Ganges water even, then 
you should try to give the nectar of Hare Krishna in his ear. Quickly. In a moment, in a second, he will be liberated from all the sufferings of life, but chain of, repeated chain of birth and life, suffering, sorrow, all the problems. Quickly solved. Have you faith? Oh, yes. So you have all faith in Harinam? You should have faith. And quickly he was done. He did so. And if there is some much more time, then chant name and listen Hari Katha. Very sweet pastimes of Krishna. Why? If a man is going to die at once, quickly, in a moment, he had no time to hear the pastimes of Krishna. Then by hearing or by chanting Krishna name, at once you will be liberated. But Krishna Premi will not come. No? Very quickly, in a moment, only hearing. He can be liberated, he can go across suffering, sorrows and so many things. But he will not have what thing? Rajaprema or so he will have to come in next birth and to hear very past, beautiful, sweet, strong pastimes of Krishna. And then he will be liberated also and also having so, such a high class of love and affection. We are not chanting them only for liberation. In world, there are so much miseries and so much problems. So one month, about hundred percent persons want this, that we should be liberated and we should have. But by her name, very quickly we can be liberated. But not love and affection will come. We have love and affection in our soul. But now it is covered with maya, illusory maya. Your illusory maya, you know, this word, illusory maya. <coughs> Our soul has been covered. By constitutional form, we are servant of Krishna. Oh, Maybe mere servant or mere servant. Anyhow, but we are not realizing all this. And in our soul, by constitution, we have love and affection. When our soul is covered with maya, our love and affection, pure, has also Though it is covered, but some on a big kriti. Perverted. Perverted. What? Love. Love. In the shape of world, worldly lust, attachment is everywhere in all souls. But it is not real friend. Not a real love and affection. When our real love and affection will will develop and come, and when Maya will go, and there will be no covering of Maya, then pure love and affection for Krishna, the supreme personality of God, because love and affection is the is the Abodiment. Abodiment eh? of Krishna and also our, our also so. So if 
A man wants to become happy forever. He should love Krishna. He should chant Krishna. Otherwise, anyhow a man cannot be happy. So once Krishna was sitting anywhere in Dwarka on the bank of sea, ocean. And he was thinking in very great way. He thought that I have completed my pastimes in a Braja, in Mathura, in Dwarka. And I have established dharma also, religion. For which I listen. Everything has been now complete. Anyhow, strictly I should give up this place and I should go to my real abode, Golo Vrindavan, with my all associates. But he wanted that Uddha should be to this world to propagate my mission. So Uddha became so unhappy and he went to Krishna. I don't want to live alone in this world. I want to be with you. If you are in this world, I want to serve you in this world. And if you are one, you want to go to Golobandavan, I want to go there and to serve you. Without you, I am lifeless. My, I am like Jeeva. Krishna told that. I am giving you something. This teachings. And you should follow. And this message should be given to all the persons, especially Kali Yuga is coming. All will be so much observed in sense gratification. All will take wine. They will take freshes, beefs, so much wine, always Intoxication. intoxications and also lust. And they will be always suffering in problems. Animal will not be happy, all quarreling, not only from hands, from atom bombs, nitrogen and so many bumps. So, I want that you should be here and after some time you may come. He told that, Labha sudur labha midam bau samdhavan Manishyam arthadam anityam api hatiya Trunam jatetana patet anumittu javat nishesha visha khalu sarvatasya very important is no in For beginners, it is so powerful. And we should try to obey this. Is. And if you are not obeying this slope, then we cannot be happy. So what is this slope? Lakva Sudurlabhamidam. What is the meaning, Prabhu? Lakva Sudurlabhamidam Bahu Sambhavante. That this human form of life. It's la that it is very, very rare to achieve the human form of life. He had patiently to follow all this. Go on. That we go through so many different species of life, 8,400,000 species of life. But one who is um, very fortunate, then they achieve the human form of life. la manusam atadam anitam apihadiram. That it is atadam. It is rare. And it is anicca, it's very, very temporary. That at any moment, then we can live our life. Just like here we see in Maui, very, very nice situation, very comfortable, heavenly. Somewhere like this I've never seen in my life. But at any moment, we can just leave. But the trick of Maya is that we um, get sucked into the mood of um, enjoy, enjoying within this material world. And we forget that the real essence 
of the human form of life is that we should achieve God realization. So it says, that now in the human form of life, that immediately that one should take, um, before one leaves this body, that one should take to the path of self realization. Similar verses there. Why? We, why? Why? Because just as Prahlad Maharaj, he was speaking to his friends, and they said, Oh, Prahlad. It is so good that you say to take to self-realization now. But we're young, we have energy, so while we're young we can enjoy. But Pallad Maharaj says, no, but we do not know when we will die. That we may die at any moment. So while one is young, rather than putting off for tomorrow what one should do today, one should do that today. And what one should do today, one should not wait, one should do it right now. Just like I was just in a hotel, one man said, one should live for the moment. So this verse is saying the same thing. So right now, the moment is that we should take to the path of Bhagavad Dharma, self-realization. Because to get this human form, very And if we lose it, then we don't know what will be the destination. So when one has this opportunity, one should take chance, especially if one has opportunity to associate with devotees. Then one should always take that opportunity, especially to associate with very high-class devotees. This is really Sadhu Sangha then this is the most rare and most important thing. More rare than human form is to get this sadhu sangha. So, Shukadeva Goswami is telling that human life we have after long, long months. And after this, we will, whether we will have this human body or not, no certainty. And only in this form, human form, we can achieve this intelligence that we should serve Krishna in any good association. There are crocodiles, fishes, elephants, hogs, pigs, dogs. They cannot be associated. Never. They will not hear all. Also the persons like dogs and donkeys. They will not hear. Only very fortunate persons will hear all this and try to follow. And we have been sometimes snakes, donkeys, hawks, pigs in our previous parts. Sometimes we have demigods, sometimes angels, sometimes so many. When this world was created, first we were there. And so much, much jokes and everything has been gone, gone, gone. And we are saved. So if we will lose this time again for long, long time, lakhs and lakhs births. So be very, he is telling that, jatet na patet anumittu javat there is no certainty that when we will die. It may be some time, it may be that just we are sitting and heart fell. Then, so very quickly, don't wait for tomorrow. What you want to do tomorrow, today. And what you want to do today, you should just today, just now. We are seeing that we are going in this aeroplane and at once it may be that quickly we all these things. We cannot come to return, we will not return to say that what happened there. So uh, at once you should try to realize who are you. 
if you are coming in the process of chanting, hearing Hari Katha, and to realize which is Atma, but it is not measured and not completed, even if you die, no harm. Because you think that how we can give up all the enjoyments, sense gratification. Oh, if you are dying just now, you will have in your other births everything, sense gratification, more than this time. If you will be hog, there will be no any rules and regulation. You can have one, not only one wife. At a time you can be hundred and, uh, and thousand of wives and thousand and thousand of And in this life there is a record of in what book? That anyone changed their husbands and wife uh, 40 or 50 times. But in that pig and hawks and dogs in that life, you can change minute, 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 everything. No harm. In this human life, you have only one children or two or four, not more than ten or twenty. <laughs> not more than that. You can have at a time two, not more than that. Three, have you heard? My oh, three. No, no, at a time. Four. But dogs and six, they can have sixteen and more than that. Seven. Record is seven. But dogs and which and all others. They can have fifty uh, at a time. One hundred and one thousand. So we will not lose no, nothing. Nothing, nothing. So in this human body, try to realize yourself. You are not this body. So everything is there, reserved for us if you are going again in any birth. You can enjoy their sense, get, sense gratifications. But here, let you chant and remember how we can realize this. So, we can come, you can come with me, come in, in India, no passport and visa is needed. Come only with me, quickly. And we are going to India, where? In Triveni Prayag. Prayag, you know, where Ganga, Jamuna and Saraswati are waiting together. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, from Nilachal, Puri. He has gone to Vrindavan. Always weeping, Ho oh Krishna, Ah oh Krishna, where you are there. Ask him from trees and creepers. And deers also. Oh Krishna used to, Kanaya used to love you. Where he is now? Where he is now? Without him, I will die that. So weeping, water coming from eyes like Ganges and Jamunas. Sometimes he used to be faint, running down the river. After this, he returned anyhow. And he was, at that time, on the bank of Ganges, Prayag. And he was returning to Milachi. And in the meantime, Rupa Goswami with his one brother, younger brother, Anupam. He quickly left out, uh, left uh, the king's 
very high class of service position. He was private secretary of Hussein Shah King. He was so much rich, but not happy. He wanted that. I should join Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. His brother Sanatan, elder brother, also wanted. Anyhow, Rupa Goswami was being so learned, having so much affluence, so much power. But quickly he left the kingdom and that service. And he took what he has collected money in a boat and he went to his home. And half of that money is distributed to devotees and Brahmins. And again, half of the half, one fourth. that is one fourth, he gave for household affairs. Because Ji Goswami was at that time very little boy. So should, he should be supported. And that is why he gave all these money. And he kept some money for Sanatan Goswami that he is in jail. Anyhow, by this money, anyhow giving some greed to authorities and he should come out of jail and join. Now he has nothing, one pence or farthing in his pocket. If you want to realize all these things, will have to come in the path of Rupa Goswami. Nothing in pocket because it may be that by bunny some false ego may come and then you will rely on that money not on Krishna mercy. So this that is not process but process is what? If anything you have you should distribute among those who want this. And be akinchan and nishkinchan. No any requirement, worldly, nothing. And then come how Rupa Goswami came, Sanatana Goswami came. So giving everything. And he went to, he was coming to Vrindavan to see Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. But in the way, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was in prayer and he made in prayer. He heard that a very beautiful young Bengali Jew, Bengali young, very beautiful sannyasi, renounce order, is about twenty-four. And he sings so much and dance telling Hari Bol, Hari Bol, Hari Bol. And always weeping, weeping, weeping. So lakhs and lakhs of persons always surrounding him. So quickly Rupa Goswami with his brother went to the bank of Ganges and Yamuna, Trivedi. And he saw that law, oh, left side, left side, devotees are there. And a very beautiful young sannyasi, like Bal sannyasi. Bal sannyasi? Young sannyasi. He is weeping and bitterly crying, Oh Krishna, Oh Krishna. Govinda Dhamma, Govinda Dhamma, Govinda Dhamma, Dharma. Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare All they are attracted. Prabhupada Goswami was singing for very long, very far distance. 
and he quickly did Gandhat Pranam, Sastang Gandhat Pranam. And he also began to be. After that, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu went to the house of Brahmi devotee. And quickly, Rupa Goswami went there. And when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu saw Rupa Goswami, at once he became so happy and impressed. Oh, Krishna is so merciful. To take you out of what? Of the stool, the stool line with jewelry. You are so lucky to come. And then Rupa Goswami began to pray. So many slopes. Oh, I'm so low, insignificant. So much wretched person. Now I'm like a Muslim because I've lost my all Vedic and culture and everything. So I'm not like a Hindu now. Don't touch me, otherwise you will be also impure. Of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu began to tell him that if a Brahman is there but not chanting and remembering Krishna, he is so wretched and fallen so. But you are chanting and remembering Krishna always. You are not a Muslim or Hindu or anything. You are very near and dear to me. And he and then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, um, Rupa Goswami, asked him that uh, I'm so wretched, nonsense, you should be merciful and give me some instruction that I can follow and I can serve eternally. Then he told, began to tell, oh, the ocean of love and affection is so deep and endless. I am telling only some one drop. I cannot tell all. Only a, I can sprinkle a drop of that love and affection. And he began to talk. I am going to tell the same thing to you. He began to tell that you should think that this body is like a cloth. You are saying it is very beautiful, charming, sweet. But if anyone can take this skin from here only, <laughs> then what? No beauty. If anyone will see in his stomach anywhere, if anyone going to <coughs> open this, then what is there? 